Lock the door when you close it. Please. Sir, excuse me. My right's here. Can I go ahead and go? Okay, if I go, sir. Lock the door. Sorry. Well, your name didn't come back. I'm sorry about this, sir. I just kind of just got to get my medication. Yeah, I know. Okay. And, uh, but your name didn't come back in out of British Columbia either. Uh, you said your last name is D A N I L L I. Yep. Lock the button and close the door, please. Sorry, Steve. Huh? Sorry. Are you good, sir? So, sir, where, where we're at now. Sir, yeah. sir, can I go get my medication, please? Sir. In the pharmacy or where? No, he, he's supposed to be going to a doctor's office. I, I was bringing him here to meet a lady friend of his yeah. because I don't have, I, I don't normally travel around in a car. I usually travel around, I think I've met him before. Yeah. I don't know if you remember me, but um, I usually uh, travel around on a bicycle, but because of my friend's situation here, I chose to use this truck where I'm staying right now. You're using whose truck? It belongs to the person, well, I'm, I'm sure you can call the license plate in and see it belongs to NC Auto. It belongs to who? NC Auto. NCR? NC Auto. NC Auto, okay. I figured you would have called the license plate in by now. I don't figure I'd have to explain that yeah. to you. We're trying to get hold of them to see if you have, you're allowed to drive the truck. Yeah, sure. I am, around the yard. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, not, I'm, I'm, but I, like I said, the lady, rather, rather than, there she is, there's his ride. Sir, can I go, please? He's, can he's going to miss his doctor's appointment. Sir, it's very important, I'm very sick, I need my medication, can I go, Excuse please? Do you have a phone number and address? Is it the same address? No. Because if I have, because if I have to give you a ticket, I can do that later, if I need to, and I can let you go now. Uh, okay. But so far, the name you're giving me doesn't come up. I'm sorry, it doesn't come up. I have no control over Here's that. Here's it. I'll give you. Give him the address. It's 10465 Link Road. So. Sir, can I go now, please? Can I just get some information from you, real quick? For the citation? 
What's are you here to give him a ride? Zanelli. How do you spell that? I'm sorry, you're giving him a ride. I'm sorry, I don't know him. It's okay. Just go back. Go back to your car. Okay, that's how you just have to give him a ride. I'm sorry. Okay. I know. I think your first name. Okay. Stephen with Michael. 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 Michael
and sometimes failure to carry and present, sometimes you, you committed a traffic violation and then failure to uh, carry and present a ID dri driver's license is an arrestable offense is a driver's license but I have the option I could just give you a citation in lieu of custody for it well because you failed to yield to an emergency vehicle properly hello how are you doing you like to talk to me I'm the sergeant Oh, I would very much. May I have one of your business cards, please? What's that, sir? May I have a business card, please? I actually don't carry one. You can. Well, my oh. name's Ryan Lane. Yeah. I'm a deputy of Lane County. Well, I'm a, actually a sergeant for Lane County Sheriff's Office. Mm hmm You explain. My deputies actually explain to you everything about the day. You fail to carry or present. We want to get through this well, as easily as possible with you. The reason I don't carry is because I no longer voluntarily apply for those. Types of uh, constitutionalist? No, I'm just a human being who believes that I have a common law right, and I think that common law supersedes legislative statutes. I've done a lot of uh, researching it because I, I care about people, and I, I, like I stated to him, I'm a peaceful man. There's no need for violence. Put that in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Here's the long story. The short. Right now, you are on public roadways, which occurred where this traffic violation occurred. Correct? Uh, I don't. The, what, well, you. what you're saying That's is a violation. We are right now. Correct? Yeah. So, there is one way we're going to go with this. He's actually explained to you he would like to. If you can give him your information, we will go away on well, that part of it with the see, citation and such. The thing is, if people okay, like believe saying, that we're not going to continue down this road, I'm more than happy to work with you on this. But you're not. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm a peaceful man. I've done nothing to harm or offend either one of you men. No, and, not. And uh, I, I, I believe that uh, since I've done nothing wrong, yes, sir. and I've harmed no one, mm -hmm. there's no one making a criminal complaint against me. I've violated no one else's rights. Actually, I've damaged are, no one's property. We are there right now. You are going down the road of a criminal complaint. And I believe you, gentlemen, may be also. Which is an arrestable offense. Correct. No. Well, it is. It is under what statute? Oregon State ORS. Yeah, which is a statute. Correct. That, which has nothing to do with common law. What's going to happen to these? You're going to you're going to make it to the point where we're going to have to actually remove you from the vehicle if you continue this. So. And I don't want to do that because you said you're a peaceful man, yep. and I like I enjoy being around peaceful people. Uh, but you are actually causing this at this well, point in time. I don't are believe you I am. To step out of the vehicle, sir. Um, I have a right. I, I believe that if a human being has rights, and they fail to exercise those rights, mm -hmm. those rights are looked at as if they're non-existent. So. I. If I if I've committed a crime, then and you believe that you have an I've committed an arrestable offense, then that's your belief, and I'm sorry that you believe that. The deputy that you've been dealing with right over there. I'm sorry you believe that I've committed an arrestable offense. I apologize for your belief because I care about people. Well, it's, it's not a belief; it's just what's written into the law. Uh, which defining a statute which is has nothing to do with common law i will be exercising my common law rights in this little uh engagement that's occurring here and and it's no disrespect whatsoever i'm not doing it i don't want to go to jail trust me i don't like it there i'd rather not take you to jail but i would it's rather a simple traffic uh, violation but yeah uh, but what seems simple to, but what i see is to, years i see them. i see civil traffic violations converted into crimes by the actions of agents who aren't even acting as human beings. Well, I think we're acting as human beings, though. So I don't. No, know why you're you're both you in uniform. To, uh, you're acting as agents. agents. You're not you're not you're not acting as a human being dealing with a human being. And you, and you're, you're looking to get out of the vehicle and be compliant. Um. If I've if I've harmed someone. And I've been, if you've witnessed me breach the peace, I would gladly, I would lay down on the ground, put my hands behind my back. If there was somebody injured pointing at me, saying, that man right there harmed me, and you guys got called to somebody who witnessed that, 
I would be the first one to tell. Only in that case is when you're going to actually uh, comply it, with these kind of When things. I believe, I, I, I see, I think we all have a right to exist peacefully. No one has a right, not even in uniform, to act against a peaceful person who has committed no crime. And when you say, I violated a statute, you're failing to make the distinction between a human being practicing his common law rights and a legal entity which you're attempting to create joinder with by, you want me to provide you with details that would, would make me voluntarily consenting to contract with you. I do not wish to contract with you. And when I go to court, I will not enter, be entering a plea because I only go to court when I've actually committed a crime. At this point in time, oh, well, what you're calling a crime, I'm calling me exist, exercising my right to travel freely. I was trying to help a friend who has a medical condition that is very serious. And I have a lot of other things I'm supposed to be doing. But because I care about people, I tried to get him here to get his ride. Mm -hmm. At, at the risk, at the risk of being pulled over by agents who do not distinguish between a human being and a legal person. Now, I can't provide you with the details that would identify me as a legal person because I, I plan for the rest of my existence here on Earth to make it a distinction. And it's I think choice I, on your part, correct? I, I, it's I, a choice on your part. To be a human being. Absolutely. Yes, it's definitely a and choice. Therefore, when we make choices in life. There's sometimes this consequences, correct? Yep, yeah, and when and, and so that is what uh, out of out of all this, okay. I hope that you, you both do the research. There. Oh, I care about you. I care about your family. I care about your children. But if we continue acting against each other mm -hmm. in a way where we don't protect the peace, instead we enforce the legislated rule that is actually harming human beings. Like right now, the things that. I care about and I should be spending my time doing, I'm being forced without my consent to comply to your demands. You just said when, when I've done ago, nothing. You you were helping your friend at having yep. taking the risk of being pulled over. Right. Well there you go. Yeah. So now you have to deal with the consequences yep. of See, I feel like there's a gang out there. Be, there's a gang out there that carries weapons, which is very intimidating. And the threatened to take the freedom away of human beings. And that's why we have yeah. jobs, because there are gangs out there with yeah. uh, weapons. Well, yeah. um, like I said, I wish that the emphasis was on protecting the human being, the life, the quality lived, okay. not Actually, he creating is revenue. Is I know you're a sheriff. You look like a good man. Yeah, thank you. And uh, you, you, ago, you look like a good man, too. When I look, I can't see your eyes, but when I look at you guys, I think, man. Do you think that... Uh, uh, that he's not out protecting life today. He's actually doing seatbelt enforcement. No, I think he is, but I, I wonder how you guys feel. Do you, do you, have you ever seen a situation where you may have arrested someone who you felt was a good person, but do you ever feel, have any, do you ever feel like, wow, I arrested that person, you know, like, and damaged their life, caused them financial hardships, and they've really done nothing to harm anyone. All they did was break my see. rule. So you're nope. out driving on the road, you don't have a license or any kind of insurance for this vehicle, correct? And you get into an accident with somebody else on the road that is auto driving. Wouldn't that be also putting those people in danger because you can't give any kind of financial stability for them for when you crash your vehicle well, into their car? Well, I right? would be responsible for any damage I'd done mm -hmm. and I would take self-responsibility. You can't be driving on the road without a license. And that's why I don't drive on the road without a license. But I travel in my in a personal conveyance. Yeah. There's a, you travel see, on the road, don't you? Your definition of words and your understanding may vary from mine, but we will both have a clear understanding of this if you choose to do so. And I and like I said, I, no harm intended, no disrespect. I'm not trying to make your day rougher. Uh, if anything, I'd like to make your day easier. Okay. And I think your day would be like much easier. Um, be, yeah, it would be much easier if you just step on out. I, you, you can... How about this? Would you, you please need... step out of the vehicle, sir? Um, I'll even say it. Pretty please step out of the vehicle, sir. See, if, I, if you'd witnessed me committing a crime, I we would did. comply. We have. We did. Okay. It, it, so there's an alleged party t that will will file a sworn affidavit. 
testifying. Right I do. Okay, well, I will do. I will do. Here, here's an interesting right. thing. I know that right. your designation of authority comes from. Do you know what documents you've derived your authority from? Do you know where your authority comes from? Does it just come from a gun and a badge, or does it come from law? It starts off with the Constitution. Right. Absolutely. Well, do you know that the Constitution does really does not authorize you guys to act in a way to generate commercial revenue? You know, you're not allowed to do that. What you're supposed to be doing is if somebody called you and said, that guy ran into me with his car and drove off, you should go get that guy because what he did harmed someone's property. So we're also out here to prevent that. And that's well, what I was doing today with uh, preventing that type okay. of situation from happening. Well, maybe we should and prevent that's... crime by just exterminating people. That doesn't make any no, sense. No, no, no. We're not here Preventive. to exterminate anybody. Preventive. We're here to stop people. We're here to prevent crime. So am I. Stopping so am I. I am too. I'm that's here to stop crime. I'm, I'm here to get you off the road. Because I care about people. I'm here for a short time. If you do that, then step out of the vehicle. So we can go on to help those other people. Okay. I can't voluntarily consent to what I believe is criminal conduct on your behalf. Okay. But if you wish to drag me from the vehicle and arrest me, if you seriously believe I'm a threat to this community and that I'm a danger to society... I think that you're a threat when you drive on the road, when you don't have a license and you don't have insurance. Well, uh, why? You're because really Chicken concerned. Little worried the sky was going to fall? Well, I believe, I believe if no harm has been committed, then no crime has been committed, and you should allow people to exist peacefully, first and foremost. But see, because we want to prevent harm. We want, we, if we you want to prevent harm, before harm happens. you need to realize, that's, what that's you're doing right now is harming me. You guys have guns. You, have we harmed you yet? Are you yes. physically hurt in any kind of way? Yes. Physically hurt? Yes. Where are you physically hurt at right now, sir? I'm physically hurt in my heart because you failed to understand the words I'm trying to so share with you. Uh, and I have several friends who have also suffered at the legislated rules that are enacted by those who voluntarily consent to be consenting members of the Law Society. I in no way have given my consent. And if you can show proof of my consent, then you should carry on. But if you don't have proof of consent, it is, it is voluntary to apply for a license. It's yes, voluntary. Hmm? A, my mouth is so dry. It's a privilege to drive. Uh, you have to have that yes, license and, to drive. Yes, and I'm not, I, I know I, I've revoked that privilege. And, uh, well, and I've and, opted... And you're violating that revocation. Uh, I'm not consenting to any of that. You, you violated that revocation. O only if I, I have not given my consent. So to anyway, be, you know, that, if you that just, jurisdiction applies to those who this, consent. Besides all this, if you, if you just step out of the vehicle, we could get this taken care of. Or if you just give me your name and everything. Uh, I've never refused my name. One time have I, I've never refused my name. Okay, so, well, I asked for your license, insurance, registration, and you wouldn't give me that. I, I don't voluntarily apply for those documents, which are voluntary to apply for, by the way. So what is your name? My name's Gerald. Which, uh, what is your family name? My family name is Davis, and thank you Davis. for, uh, Davis. Davis. And then Gerald is with a G, J, or With what? a G. G-E-R-A-L-D? Yep, for, um... And actually, I, if you wanted me to write it, I'd write it as my proper name. Something I wasn't educated in in school, a proper name. Do you know, do you know how Benjamin Franklin signed okay, his name? Do you have a date of birth? With semicolons. Mm -hmm. Which date of birth? Um, I don't see the relevance to that question. So we can help identify you and maybe we can get well, out of here. Well, I told you, my name's Gerald, my family name's Davis, mm -hmm. and you can see me with your own eyes. Do you have a middle name? I'll or is it, see, or is it it's, it's, it's a challenging to try and not be offended. I don't want to be disrespectful, but then again, I I love life and I love... Have any of us been disrespectful well, to you in any kind of way? No, uh, well, in a way, but not, not that directly. Be disrespectful to you? you have a gun, you have these lights on that are kind of humiliating me in public. So that, in a sense, that's disrespect. Okay. Other than that, no. And so treated you courteously this whole time, correct? Um, well, if you, uh, the courtesy would have been to see that I'm a peaceful man and allow me to help my friend and not interfere with me helping somebody and allow me to go free on my way. So, Gerald, that would be Gerald, courteous and kind. What's your date of birth? 
uh, well, since I wasn't counting back then, what you're asking me, you want me to provide you with the details of the legal entity. What's your birth date? The birth date on the birth certificate. So, here's the deal. I'm going to tell you very calmly. We okay. are going to remove you from the vehicle. You're going to be under arrest. So, okay. if you resist, it's going to add other charges also on top of that. We don't want to... Oh, I'm, I, in no so, way will I resist. So, go ahead and either slide out towards the side, open this door, or go to those deputies right now, or you're... Okay. Right, you are under arrest. Okay. okay. Um, are you shutting it off? Yeah. You hey, this way or that way? Hey, I want to say one thing. I love you guys. I love you. Right. And I'm probably done talking for the rest right. of this adventure. Okay.